EA Sports. It's in the game. Hey, cool. EA Sports will be in the game. UCLA, baby, all the way. Doug. What? You know Stanford's in the game. Matching the champs, baby. Matching the champs. Trojans. Trojans, baby. NCAA Football 2005. Where in Florida can you drive to the beach as well as on the beach sands? Daytona Beach, the site for this college football contest. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Florida A&M Rattlers and the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats. And here come the Wildcats. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler along with Lee Corso and Kirk Curbstreet. And do we have a great one for you today. The Florida Classic, the annual battle for bragging rights in the Sunshine State. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? Well, in a close matchup like this, I always like to look at the individual. Florida A&M is going to attack this defense in the air. And I'll tell you, this is the key to the game. If their quarterback has time to throw, he'll have a huge game today against that vulnerable secondary. I can tell you one thing I know about this game. Florida A&M has a coach that likes to throw the football. If they can, like you said, protect the quarterback, watch out. They may rack up 400 yards passing in this one. Bethune-Cookman is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He kicks it. Number three takes it at the 20. Kickoff return eight yards. Number three on the return. They'll set up shot at the 27-yard line. The Rattlers come out showing three wide. Nice play fake. He's going right. And it's caught. And now he's got room to run. The 50. At the 40. And he's still on his feet. And he's tackled. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there. And that's going to spread this defense out a little. It's first and 10, ball on the 21. They line up in the red zone for the first time today. Short toss, and it falls incomplete. Pressure that time, and he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Wow, the kid just avoided getting smacked on that one. Second and 10, ball on the 21 yard line. Single set backfield. Hold on. Hold on. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Got him again. Touchdown, Florida a and m That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Well, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he tacks on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac.
Florida A&M. Ready to kick this one off. Number 83 and number 17 back ready to return. Kicks it off. Number 83 takes from the 10. Kickoff return 17 yards. Number 83 on the return. They'll start, start this drive, drive at, at the 27. 27 First and 10. Bethune Cookman going with the power eye. And he's tackled. Number seven on the run. Seven yard gain on the play. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 34 yard line. They line up in the old Maryland eye formation. With the spin, and he's going to lose yards on this one. With the tackle, loss of two on the play. It's third down and five to go. Ball on their own 32. The Wildcats line up with two tight ends. They'll try to power it with a fullback. They'll drop him for a loss. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Fourth and seven. Ball on the 30-yard line. And they're ready to punt this one away. Number 24, back deep to return. Didn't get all of that one. Bumble! And they fall on the loose ball. They'll take over at the 48. We'll start the drive at the 48 yard line. First and 10. Ace backfield. He drops back. He steps up, looks. Under heavy pressure. Throws this one out to the left. They'll bring him down. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. It's first and 10, ball on the 22-yard line. The Rattlers come out showing three wide. High snap as he works from the gun. Down the middle, and he brings it down. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. time they were in the red zone they got a touchdown out of it pitch is right he tries to spin and they make the stop the running back gets two on the carry looks like they're going to try to power this one in Nice play fake. Go into the end zone. The quarterback mixed things up a bit and found the big guy for the score. This kid has worked very, very hard at his receiving skills, and I've seen a lot of improvement in him.
And he hits the PAT. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. Florida a and m to kick this one off. Number 83, back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 83, takes it at the eight. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. First and 10, ball on their own 30. Start the drive at the 30-yard line. First and 10. Florida a and m brings in the nickel here. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Makes the tackle. Loss of two on the play. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 28 yard line. The Rattlers line up in a nickel back. Back to pass. He'll dump this one off. The ball is tipped. I tell you what, Kirk, if that receiver doesn't get more aggressive, this defense is going to be knocking the balls down all game long. You're absolutely right. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. The Rattlers bring in their dime package. Drop back to pass. He passes it. Couldn't haul it in. And the halfback drops an easy pass. Intended receiver on the play. Great. Fourth and 12. Ball on the 28 yard line. Number 24, Three. back to return it. Number 24, back deep to return. Hot. Number 38, punched it and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 24, takes it the 47. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll go to work at the 47. At the 47 yard line. First and 10. Bethune Cookman has all their DBs in for this five wide set. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. His receiver has it. First down, what a pass. Boy, that was a big-time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. First and 10, ball on the 29. Bethune-Cookman put six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Incomplete. A little too much muscle behind that pass. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Number one, alone in the backfield. He drops back. Over the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Wow, that pass had some velocity, Kirk. Well, I think here the quarterback panicked a little bit and rifled it as hard as he could. Third and 10. Ball on the 29. Bethune-Cookman put six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Back to pass with the throw, and it's incomplete. Number three, the intended receiver on the play. Not much choice here. They have to try for it. Throws this one out to the right. And he's tackled. First down, can you believe it? Brad, I can't. That was an incredible pass and catch. I'm still catching my breath. <laughs> it's first and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. 
last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Over the middle. Got his man. Seven yard play. Seven yard gain on the play. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score, Florida A&M, 14, Bethune-Cookman, nothing. The Rattlers line up with three wide. He drops back, steps up, he's looking. Fires to the end zone. He grabbed that one for his second touchdown of the half. And that second touchdown pass was just as pretty as the first one. This guy's good. And he tacks on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you by Pontiac. Florida A&M, ready to kick this one off. Is lined up for the kickball. Number 17. Short kick, he didn't get a hold of that one. Number 17, takes it at the 16. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. First and 10, ball on the 28. First and ten. They come out in the Maryland eye. Here's the pitch, left side. Tackle. They gained five yards there. With the carry, five-yard gain on the play. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 33. The Wildcats come out in the wishbone. Nice play fake. He'll dump this one off. The pass falls incomplete. Number 37, the intended receiver on the play. Third and five. Ball on the 33-yard line. Bethune Cookman comes out with two tight ends. On the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. Fourth and three. Ball on the 35-yard line. Number 38 to punt this one away. Number 38 punts it and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number 24, fields it at the 44. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. And great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? Bethune-Cookman comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He's looking down the middle. And he's tackled. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. First and 10, ball on the 47-yard line. Bethune-Cookman puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Finds his receiver, and he just went over 100 yards this half with that last catch. This receiver's catching everything thrown his way. When a quarterback and receiver get it going early in the game, watch out, defense. You could be in for a long day. It's first and 10, ball on the 28-yard line. 
Bethune Cookman brings in their nickel package. Matted ball. Almost intercepted. Nearly intercepted that time. Well, on that last play, you see the defense do a good job of playing coverage, and the quarterback telegraphed his pass the whole way. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 28. The Rattlers line up with three wide. Setting up the play action. Wants to throw outside. And they're in. Touchdown. Look at that. For a second there, I could have swore that back had the football. Beautiful play. Yeah, I don't know if it was the offensive coordinator, the head coach, or just the quarterback checking off, but my hat goes off to whoever called that play. And the fans have quieted down. And he hits the PAT. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Number 49 looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 17 takes from the 10. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Clipping on the receiving team. So clipping on the play will send the offense backwards. You're always taught that if you can see a player's name on his jersey, don't block it. Hey, apparently he didn't see it. And another thing he might not see is more playing time. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Inside give. And down he goes. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 15. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. A pickup of five. With the carry. Five yard gain on the play. Third and four. Ball on the 20. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Tackle. It's first and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Bethune Cookman lines up in a double tight set. Deep pass down the right side. It falls incomplete. Poor pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. The intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 34, and the fans have quieted down. They're going to pitch it. Spins up field, and he's tackled. They grab eight yards there. The ball carrier, gain of eight on the play. Third the offense two. faces another third ball down as they line it up. Line. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. And down he goes. Florida A&M calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Didn't get all of that one. Number 24 fields at the 31. 
Number 46 with a recovery. Set up shot at the 29 yard line. First and 10. Bethune Cookman has all their DBs in for this five wide set. He drops back, throws this one out to the right, across midfield. And he's all the way down to the 38. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. First it's first and ten. And ten. Ball, Ball on the 38. Yard line. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Looking. Wants to throw outside. In and out of his hand. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. And the fans have quieted down. Hot. 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 Back to pass. He steps up, looks, under pressure. He wants it all going long. It's deflected, and it falls incomplete. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 38. Ball on the 38 yard line. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Bounces off the would be tackler. Throws this one out to the left. Incomplete pass. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Fans are quiet, but I can't blame him. He's looking. Rolling out to the right side. He's under pressure. It's tipped. And it's incomplete. They couldn't convert that fourth down. Boy, look at these guys out there. They are fired up. Now let's see if it's going to lead to any points. They'll get the ball here at the 38. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. They'll throw on first down. Stepped up. He's going left. And he can't hang on to it. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 38. And the fans have quieted down. He drops back. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And down he goes. Boy, they got some major heat on the quarterback that time. Well, that's the whole goal of the defense. They're going to attack him by bringing multiple looks and blitzing from the linebackers in the secondary to try to confuse him. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 35-yard line. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Here comes the pressure. He steps up. In and out of his hand. The wideout unable to catch that pass. Fourth and 13. Ball on the 35 yard line. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 38 punts it and he didn't get much distance on it. Number 24 fields it at the 42. The offense saw their last drive end on fourth down. Will we see a similar result this time? They'll start this drive at the 43. At the 43 yard line. First and 10. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Back to pass. He's going right. It's deflected. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Second 
Shot it's second down and 10 to go. Ball, Ball on their own 43. 43. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, Hunt. folks. Hunt. 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 Drops back to pass. Across the middle. <laughs> Got it. Tackle. Florida A&M takes a timeout. First and 10, ball on the 45 yard line. And the fans have quieted down. He'll dump this one off. Get the tackler. And they make the stop. I like to say one thing. The reason they were able to get something out of this play is the fact that the quarterback had time to get rid of the football. Good job up front by the offensive line. And don't forget the nice play by the running back as well. Florida AM calls a timeout. Second and less than a yard. Ball on the 35. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Under heavy pressure. Going to the end zone. And he can't make the catch. And it's been total dominance here in the first half. Our score, Florida A&M, 28. Bethune-Cookman, nothing. Florida a and will be kicking off to start the second half. Number 83. Here's the kick. Number 17 takes it at the 12. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. First and ten. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. They get it out there on the toss. He's looking down the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. You got to be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge gain or a turnover. They were lucky it was only incomplete. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the 26. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. A little misdirection. He's got a lot of green. And he's tackled. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Again with the carry. They'll bring him down. Nothing going on that one. On the run. No gain on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 37. And the fans have quieted down. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Brought down. Three yards there on the play. Three yard gain on the play. Third They're down in seven. seven. Ball on their own 40. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Across the middle. It's dropped. Not a good time to let it go through your hand. Unbelievable. He decides to throw the ball in your direction on third down, and you decide to watch it bounce off your hands. That's got to be frustrating for the quarterback. Fourth and seven. Ball on the 40-yard line. The fans are quiet, but I can't blame them. Didn't get all of that one. Number 24 signals for a fair catch. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 37-yard line. First and ten. Number one is the single setback. They'll throw on first down. 
He tosses it short, and he's tackled in the open Number field. One. So they pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. Second, Second and six, six coming up here. Ball, ball on their own 41. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, Hunt. folks. Hunt. Drops back to pass. Over the middle. His receiver has it. What do you think Number of this quarterback, Lee? Well, he's got over 300 yards passing yard now. And what I like about him is his quick release. One, two, three. First and ten, ball on the 40-yard line. And the fans have quieted down. Throws it to the outside. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the 40. This place isn't exactly rocking right now. Play action, looking, plenty of time in the pocket. Number 21, picks it off, he's got some blockers. Across midfield, down the sideline, and he's taken down. Nice interception, too bad they weren't playing like this to start the day. Yeah, their defense took a little too long to get into this football game. But don't give up on them, you guys, not yet. They're still playing football out there. On the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. They'll start the drive at the 29-yard line. First the fans time. are quiet, but I can't blame them. On the ground with the tailback. He's hit and got away. Seven yards there. On the run. Seven-yard gain on the play. Second, Second and three. Ball on the 22. 22-yard line. These fans aren't as rowdy as they were earlier, folks. Here's a pitch left side, and he stopped behind the line. That time they came with the blitz and caused enough confusion up front, they were able to get to him. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 26. And the fans have quieted down. You'll get the call again. There he goes. The five. He's all the way. Touchdown. The halfback got the carry and weaved through that defense for a score. He found some daylight and took off for six. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac, fuel for the soul. Bethune-Cookman is ready to kick it away. Short kickoff. Number three. Takes it at the 16. I'm sure the coach has talked to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession. They'll set up shot at the 32-yard line. At the 32-yard line. First and 10. Bethune-Cookman has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. 
Throws this one out to the left. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Bethune-Cookman lines up in a dime defense here. Back to pass. Throws. Complete, and they make the stop. Nice little catch there, huh, Coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like that call. I like short passes. They're safe and can lead to some really good yardage. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Rattlers line up in a goal line formation. And straight ahead we go with the fullback. Brought down, and he gets the first down. That guy just went pow and took it in. He wasn't stopping until he got that first and ten. First it's first and ten. And ten. Ball, Ball on the 43. Bethune-Cookman has all their DBs Hut. in for this five-wide set. Hut. Hut. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. It falls incomplete. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. So it's second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Florida A&M comes out in the shotgun. Three and three inside four. Hut. He drops back. Steps up. Looks. Wants the middle. In and out of his hands. Dropped by the wideout. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Number seven lines up in the shotgun, drops back to pass, and it's caught. And they hit him in the backfield. Loss of about nine. Nine yard loss on the play. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. He gets it away. Number 35, fields it to 34, and he is drilled. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First and 10, ball on their own 39. The Wildcats with a stack backfield. Spin move. And down he goes. Number seven with the carry. Nine yard gain on the play. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Florida A&M 28, Bethune-Cookman 7. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 48. Back to pass. He lets it go. Complete. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Drop back four yards on that one. Loss of four on the play. Third and five. Ball on their own 44. High formation here. They run the counter. They'll drop him for a loss. Yeah, that time the defense was swarming to the ball and really didn't allow this tailback any room to run. They have to try for it here. They need this pass. He steps up. Here they come. Throws it to the outside. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Excellent field position to start the drive. Number seven is back in the gun. 
They'll throw on first down. Watch the middle. And he's tackled. Number what a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Boy, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. Bethune-Cookman lines up with five defensive backs. They'll throw on first down. He tosses it short. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding on the offense. Ten-yard penalty. Still first down. He held him up on that play. It looked like he just grabbed his jersey and just refused to let it go. First and long. Ball on the 37. The Wildcats line up with six defensive backs. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He's going right. Batted ball. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and is get his hand on it. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Wildcats bring in their dime package. He's under pressure. Hit as he throws. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. They sure did, but somehow he got rid of the football. Third down and what they did want to get in. Ball on the 37. Bethune-Cookman brings in the nickel here. He's looking. He's going to go for the home run. It's dropped. Yeah, we got an injured player on the field. So they're set to punt this one away. Punts the ball away. Number 35 calls for the fair catch. And they'll down it at the four-yard line. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. And they've got their work cut out for them on this drive. Florida A&M brings in their nickel package. They'll throw on first down, throws it to the outside. Someone got a hand on it. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. Second and 10. They've got their backs against the wall. Bethune-Cookman goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. Looking. Steps up, he's rolling right, and it's caught, and he's taken down. They get three yards on the play. Three yard gain on the play. Nickel defense. Ball on the seven yard line. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Finds his receiver. Knocked out of bounds. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. First it's first and 10. ten. Ball on their own 33. Number 22 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He drops back. He's under some heat. Throws. And down he goes. Good yardage there. And that'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. Bethune Cookman comes out with an eye formation. Looks. Over the middle. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. So it's second and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. Yeah. 
Back to pass. He steps up, throws. He spins, and they make the stop. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. They'll throw on first down. Steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the right. Incomplete pass. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Wildcats come out in the wishbone. Drops back to pass. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Ball's loose. Brought down. A nice recovery there by the cornerback. Well, usually you see these defensive backs picking off passes. Not too often do they get a chance to pounce on a fumble. They'll take over at the 43-yard line. Take over at the 43-yard line. First and 10. The Wildcats line up with six defensive backs. Here's a counterplay, and he's taken down. They pick up a good six yards there. Gain of six on the play. Second and four coming up here. Ball right around midfield. The Rattlers come to the line with their jumbo package. They hand it off. Tackle. About four Number yards on that play. Run. Gain of four on the play. Third down and short. Ball on the 47. Ball on the 47 yard line. They put everyone up on the line. Go with a toss. And they make the stop. Bethune Cookman takes a timeout. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. He gets it off. Number 35 signals for a fair catch. They'll down the punt at the 12 yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 12. They'll throw on first down. Under heavy pressure. Throws this one out to the left. Complete. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. First and ten. Ball on the 35. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Wildcats with a full house backfield. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. 10-yard penalty. Still first down. So instead of moving forward, They'll move a few yards back. Boy, I hate to see guys making dumb penalties like that. First it's first and a mile. Ball, ball on the 25-yard line. They come out in the bone here. They'll throw on first down. Rolls right. He's looking. Under pressure. And he just gets rid of it. 
He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Well, sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. Congratulations to our players of the game, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The Wildcats come out in the wishbone. He drops back with the throw. Batted ball. Batted away. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Third down and a couple miles here. Ball in the 25. Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. Looking. Steps up. He's going left. It's tipped. The defender could only get a hand on it. A hand on it? If this kid wants to be a big-time playmaker, he better start getting two hands on it. Yeah, Lee, that ball should have been picked off there. They come out in a punt formation. Didn't get all of that one. Four. Takes it at the 47. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll go to work at the 46-yard line. Florida A&M will line up in a jumbo set here. They'll bring him down. Number six one, yards on the carry. Gain of six on the play. Second and four. Ball on the 40. The Rattlers set up in the gun. This one's in the books, folks. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams, but I was really impressed the way this game was won. Florida A&M faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. Folks, that's, that's going to do it for this game. edition of NCAA of Football 2005. We hope you join us again soon. Again, our final score, Florida A&M, 28, Bethune-Cookman, 7.